All right, so uh, 2010, it's been an amazing sports year, and uh, what we thought we'd do is uh, give a sports recap of uh, what we thought were the best moments of 2010 in the world of sports, and uh, you got your top three, I've got my top three, and uh, Josh, let's start with uh, your number three. What was your, uh, what was your big my one? My number three, Kyle Bratzman from Boise State, the kicker. Boise State, a team that's all year has been talked about as maybe making BCS National Championship. Can they pull it off in such a weak conference after blowing everyone out? They're facing no competition. Kyle Bratzman against Nevada just has a chance for a game-winning field goal in regulation. Misses it. They go to overtime. He's got a chance for a game-winning field goal. Misses that one, too. My opinion, huge moment for Boise State football to just demolish their season. Yeah, I felt bad for the kid. Um, uh, you know, he's going to be absolutely scrutinized. Uh, they would, uh, it turns out they would have made the national championship game anyways, but he cost them a BCS bowl, and that costs the, the school a lot of money because the way with the BCS works. Right. Um, uh, I felt terrible for the kid. Uh, My number two, Tracy Porter, Super Bowl Saints-Colts. Three minutes left, Saints up seven, Colts driving. Peyton Manning on a third down, third and four. Throws and intercepts, and Tracy Porter takes it all the way back to the house. Seals the deal. The Saints. Fantastic moment. Uh, absolutely. That's, I think that's unquestioned. Number one, Landon Donovan, World Cup, U.S. Algeria. United States needs a win to get into the next round. 92nd minute in a 0-0 game, Landon Donovan bangs it in. The whole country going nuts. It was just the best moment of the year. Yeah, Landon Donovan with just an American-style goal, just banging in a rebound. It was an unbelievable game, an unbelievable moment. Um, I made everybody that I know just go absolutely nuts when he scored that. Uh, Tim Howard uh, with that amazing outlet where he just hucked the ball oh, halfway up the God. field to get to Donovan, who passed it up the field, and then uh, the the shot, the rebound. It was an unbelievable moment. It was it was a shame that the United States you know lost the next game, but that moment so. was just unbelievable. Um, as for my top three, uh, I had, my number three was uh, Isner Mahout in that eleven hour five minute just. Unbelievable tennis match at Wimbledon. Um, the fifth set was seventy to sixty-eight. I mean, the longest tennis match ever. It was absurd, and, and it's impossible to watch all that game. But if, even if you just tune in for a little bit, it was amazing. And, and heard this unbelievably tall American, just as just as mammoth of a guy, I just mean, lasted and, for that long. And tennis is not the most popular sport in this country, but everybody tuned in for at least a little bit of that after hearing how long the game, the match was going. It was unbelievable listening to, you know, it was spreading around, like, via Twitter, on Facebook, or it's people text, text each other, like, are you watching this? It was absolutely captivating. And, and we talked about having the world of sports. It's, it's nice having just this great variety of sports when you talk about the top moments of the year which brings me to my number two and this hurts from the, we just talked about number one being great for america and great for soccer uh number two hurts america and it was Sidney crosby uh the golden goal in the olympics uh against team usa oh my god i mean team you not everyone's a hockey fan in this country another sport that's not the most popular but everyone was tuned into that game just an amazing game. I mean, going into overtime, you think U.S. has a chance against this Especially after amazing the, Canada the, team. 20 seconds left, the United States ties it up to send it overtime. You thought U.S. had all the, men, the momentum, but a prime time player uh, in Sidney Crosby showed up when his team, when his country needed him. When you're you're in your home country, this is the Olympics, this is the gold medal game, this is overtime, and he showed up, and that was just, I mean. It, when you're a high player, I, I'm pretty sure that's what you dream of. Yeah, and you gotta get props to kid. It was just an amazing goal, whether you're a U.S. fan or a Canada fan. And the number one moment for me, and this is a very debatable one, but mine was Luis Suarez uh, handballing the ball off the line in the Ghana Uruguay game in the quarterfinals of the World Cup. And it's funny that we both have uh, soccer moments, but uh, the World Cup, the world's biggest tournament every four years. And whether you thought that was a moment of either cheating or if you thought that was just unbelievable gamesmanship or doing what you got to do to win a game, uh, the Luis Suarez just batting that off the line and then Asamoah Gian uh, just clobbers the ball, rings it off the crossbar, and then seconds later he puts his in his spot in the penalty shootout. And you're thinking, why couldn't this guy just do it a couple minutes earlier? Yeah, it's one of those moments you take the red over a goal and you take a chance. Just like... Fallon in basketball, make them earn the points. It, absolutely. Um, yeah, I mean, whether you thought that was cheating or that, I mean, that's another story, but uh, I thought that was just an unbelievable moment for me. Um, just captivating your way, won that game, and 
got to the semifinals. Uh, so, you know, that's it for our thoughts on the, the sports uh, world of 2010. Josh, it was a good 2010, what did you think? It's great 2010. A lot um, of great moments. Absolutely, and let's hope 2011 is even better. All right, so that's it for Off and Running, and uh, stay tu tuned to us for uh, more videos. Thank you.